I am Kylie White and today is my mom's birthday. And so I am making Bomba Toast with the help of my younger brother, who you haven't met before, and his name is Anand. And one thing is I have no freaking idea how to make the meal we're making. Yeah, so I'm going to- What meal are we making again? <laughs> So I'm going to be teaching you guys as well as on it. So she also doesn't know. I kind of know. I've done this before. So yeah. Do you want to start with buttering the bread or making the egg and sugar mixture? That one's more fun, so let's start with that. <laughs> okay, so you can start off by, well, if you look in the cookbook, you'll see that you can start off by buttering each side of the bread, but we prefer to do that as we go. So we're gonna start by making a mixture of eggs and sugar. So you're gonna need two eggs and six tablespoons of sugar. Uh, now the recipe says that you can cut it back a bit if you don't want that much sugar. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to. If anything, I'd add seven. No. Also, come on, Crane, they can't see you. Stop hiding. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to get the sugar. Okay, well we're doing the eggs first. And for the eggs, we have very different ways of breaking the eggs. I do the more normal way. And hey. Anand has invented his own way. So. Well, it's not really an invention, I think. <laughs> he does his own way. So, first I'm gonna show you. So I just- First the normal way. way. And then break it like that. And then Anand. And I like, like, and I like to go around the rim and then, so then it just comes off, <laughs> which is much easier, in his opinion. Do whatever works for you, but now we add the sugar. So would, do you want to add the sugar? Sure. Okay, so six of these. Two, two, twenty-five, three, on end. <laughs> what? Right before All we... right! You said that I need to make sure that I don't say any, say a joke about the recipe because everyone will be confused <laughs> because they don't understand the concept of a joke. Yeah. Five. <laughs> that was four. Wait, what? <laughs> that was four. Oh, okay. I think. I'm pretty sure, but six, five, <laughs> twelve, six. But that was like a half spoon. I would add one more because you're not adding a lot. Okay. No, that's, that's enough. That's enough. This is the seven, though. No, but there's only six. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I was going to seven. <laughs> okay. So we're going to use this. Uh, and just break the eggs up and mix it with hay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you are going to watch him with the eggs. <laughs> okay, less aggressive. Mm -hmm. Not. Now we add the milk, which is my specialty, so that's what I'm adding. And this is my least favorite part. So you're gonna need two cups of milk for this. I wonder if this would have tasted better if there wasn't any milk. I think it would be disgusting. But milk is disgusting. Milk is in a lot of recipes. You don't really taste it most of the time. I don't understand how people don't like milk. In my opinion, milk is great. And I drink it without anything else all the time. Even water has more of a taste than milk. <laughs> it has less of a taste, in my opinion. But and now, and now you whisk it. And I'll go crazy, but not as crazy, or else you'll actually take some out of this. So my suggestion is to start a whirlpool powerful enough to take down a ship, but not a cruiser. 
what's the difference? One would be made out of wood, and I think the other one would be made out of metal, right? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, a tornado, but not a hurricane. Good. This looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, so this is what it should look like correctly when it's done. And so now we move, move over, over here. here, and we will do the next step. We're doing this in one video, and Covey did drop bread. Yes, I dropped bread, so. But I doubt anyone will taste that in the final product. Yes, it looks clean enough. Don't do that, don't do that. Uh, but we're just making this for us, and I don't really care. And our mom. And our mom, oh, oh yeah. It's fine. Uh, wait a second. He's getting a new piece of bread because we have more, in case we mess up. Or maybe just because our dad didn't know how much bread we needed for this. Yeah. Here. Now don't mess up again, because if you do, we're going to need to open another bag or use an edge piece. Not the edge piece, no. So No one likes edge pieces. Some people do. So basically, you are going to need 12 slices of bread, white bread, and some butter. This is not real butter, but it works. And... We're going to need... You walked out of frame. A butter knife to spread it. And then, now our stove makes this annoying ticking noise. Wasn't it 200... I think it's cool. Oh, wait, no. I thought you meant the little sound it makes when we put on the bread. No. It that makes... sound is satisfying. When you turn the stove on, it makes an annoying ticking noise, which Mommy knows how to fix, but I do not. So we're just going to hope that it's not unbearable for you guys. So, oh, what page is it on again? I think it was 176. Wow, I just I just randomly turned to 176. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly butter the pan because if you don't do it quick enough, your arm will burn off. Yes, for whatever reason, Anand finds this pan heat extremely hot, and I'm fine with it. So, don't burn off your arm. I'll try. <laughs> so. The pan's haven't buttered, and you can probably hear the annoying ticking noise. And now you can't see. On it. <laughs> Come on. Oh! <laughs> okay. So, now we butter both sides of bread. And like I said before, you could have done this earlier, uh, or you can do it all now, or you can do it as you go. Or, if we would act, or if we were doing this with, for something other than a video, we could have done it both steps at once, since yeah. we have two people. And so now take however much butter you want, and just completely cover the sides of the bread. Personally, I believe too much butter is not enough butter. <laughs> or at least that's for more accurately, I don't know how much butter to grab, so I end up putting on too much. And then can you get a plate? Okay. I'm trying very hard not to get butter onto the thing, but that would be a lot easier. So, the, like I said, butter both sides of the bread, and then maybe eat lasagna. That has nothing to do with the recipe, <laughs> but you can show But lasagna is yummy. Lasagna. So we eat lasagna. And then, I'm not sure if you can see this, but put, now you put the bread in the mixture you made before. And then, this is the part I like doing. Okay. Anin likes to submerge it like that. The recipe says not to do that and to just flip, flip it over. That'll wash my hands. No, you're, if you're doing that over and over again, then you're not going to need to. And she said I shouldn't. And then, you just toss it in. That's the satisfying. It is. I'm gonna get another plate so that we can have somewhere to put this on where it's done. And this thing. So, I am never sure how long to put it on for. I just tend to go for as long as you feel like it. As long as I feel. And normally, the first one doesn't come out great. And that's just my, my tester one. So let's just see. I have it on high 
because I use high for everything, so it doesn't quite look done yet. And then here you can see Anin doing his thing. favorite part I think buttering it way too much and then dunking it so yeah once you're done with the bomba toast oh once you're done making the bomb toast oh that's good okay I'm gonna show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like it could be a bit darker than that or it doesn't have to be this is kind of how I like it but a lot of the times it comes out darker than that that might just be me though so yeah, since it's finished, we're just gonna wait. Warning! Warning! What? New one coming out! Oh, okay. And now, we have another one. So, did you get this in? Yeah. Okay. This does not look very good. Maybe well, you didn't put it on here for long enough. It's not about how long it's under, it's about just how much stuff gets on there. But it's fine. It was completely submerged. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I could just be wrong and not remembering right. So yeah, when you're done with Savannah Toast, I normally eat it plain. Uh, you could eat it with something else. like. Or you could wait an hour and eat it for a meal. <laughs> Yeah, you could eat it with something else, like fruit, or, I don't know, maybe maple syrup. That sounds gross to me, but whatever. And so eggs are good with maple syrup, and there are eggs in there. I don't like eggs with maple syrup. Well, scrambled egg is with maple syrup is the thing I like. Yeah, not for me, but I know a lot of people that like it, so. Okay, mm. you can't say I didn't submerge it. <laughs> Yeah, so now you basically just keep on doing this for all 12 pieces of bread. So maybe this part will be edited out. Or just we cut it out. So, yeah. Uh, we'll come back when it's done. Or not. Or <laughs> maybe we'll just not edit this. Who knows? Okay, bye. Oh, hi. So this is the finished Bomba Toast, and I totally wasn't about to eat it. Totally. Without showing you. Uh, uh, bye! <laughs> I want to film my mom's reaction. So, that's what I'm doing. We have the bomb toast, the plates, and a drawing that my brother did of us and stuff. And then some fruit that she might want. I don't know what fruit she wants, but. Did you do a video? Yeah, we made a video oh, of us making it. That's amazing. Kavya, you were right. This was a good idea. That was a great idea. Awesome, guys. Oh. Thank you. Huggy kissy. Kavya, Kavya wants to record your reaction. I did record your reaction. <laughs> Perfect.